Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. This is a little preview about a new weapon that I'm going to show to you tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Because tomorrow is the 31st of December 2013. And then the 48 hours will begin where we Germans are allowed to use fireworks legally without a license. And the Slingshot channel must use this occasion for some badass fun. <laughs> so here is some rocket stuff that you can legally buy now for just a few days in Germany. And um, some nicely filled with black powder. Uh, not very much of it, but enough. And they will usually climb to about 80 meters or something, 60, 80 meters. Um, but of course, I want my rockets to climb the highest. So what we have to do is we have to launch them with rubber to make them fly very high. So here's what I came up with. Meet the Slingshot Channel Rocket Launch Tower. <laughs> Let me show you its features. Of course it has a fork. It's way up here, two meters fifty high. It has a sled that will push up the rocket later on. And as you see, it hits these rubber cushions to stop the acceleration. It has a long, 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 long barrel. It's fully encapsulated so that the rocket cannot fall out once it's on its way. Triggered by a foot pedal, like this. So you can safely trigger the whole thing. And let me show you how to load it. So basically what you do is, you push the whole thing down, like this. and the trigger automatically engages, like so. And then what you do is, you take the rocket and put it in and feed it into the sled with a wooden shaft, like this. And you see, only the fuse controls. Here you can see the shaft inside of the sled. And you can see that the this is the actually the cap over the fuse and you can light the fuse now and once it's burning you can just use the foot pedal pedal to launch the shot and then it's on its way one two Woo. oops it landed on my roof <laughs> So this one I used for test flights already a few times, as you see. It suffered a bit. I repaired it. And uh, let's see how it behaves in flight. Okay, one, two. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Okay, one more time. All right, one, two. Well, tomorrow it's going to be an interesting video because there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Well, first of all, this has to ignite just in the right moment while it's already flying and the nose is still upwards because then it's gonna have just a boost. When the worst thing that can happen is that it's already flying downwards with the nose down, because then it's gonna be accelerated towards the earth. And then what we're having is like a surface to surface missile exploding at the ground, probably in the garden of one of my neighbors. <laughs> we can't have that. And uh, of course, it, what can also happen is that it shatters right in the barrel of that launcher. And then I don't really know what's going to happen. It's all made from wood and wood has a tendency to burn. <laughs> I love dangerous stuff. Well, that's it for today. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be fun. I hope that you like it. Thanks and bye bye.